Just pulled up to Poker House Dallas for our meetup game tournament. I'm a little nervous. You know, this is one of the first of its kind. I haven't heard of a meetup game tournament being done, so I'm nervous. Hopefully it does well. Hopefully we smash the guarantee. We guaranteed a lot of money for the buy-in. We need about 100 entrants to break the guarantee. So putting a decent amount of pressure on ourselves, but I think people are gonna show up. Uh, hopefully it'll go well, and um, maybe we'll win some money too. Wow, 87 entrants before it's even started. Woo! What's up everyone? We're here at Poker House Dallas. Uh, it's our tournament. Our third member is speaking to someone right now. Frankie's over there somewhere, <laughs> announcing to the whole room. It's gonna be a good one. Already 100 entries. $10,000 guaranteed. Let's do it. First hand for me, we've got pocket jellos. The blinds are 400, 800, 800. We've got 18,000 in front of us. So when someone opens to 1,800, it's showtime. We rip it all in for what is 22 and a half big blinds. It folds around, but the big blind was all in because he had a baby stack. So we get to see some cards. He's got ace nine offsuit. Baby stack, 16.5. You can work with it though. The cool thing is that 249 entrants. We're on break right now. Thank you guys for showing out. It's so cool. We've got pocket sevens. We're under the gun plus two. We've got 12 bigs. I do not have the charts memorized, but this one just feels right. We rip it all in. Folds to the button who makes the call. Our life is on the line, and he shows a pretty not chill hand. Here we go. All right, so you had his aces. I had an ace nine of hearts. All right, and none of you had sevens? You know what that means? Oh my god. Um, We're down to crumbs, but crumbs is all you need in a tournament. We've got ace eight offsuit. All I need to see is that ace, baby. Let's do it. We get one call, then someone rejams, and we run into kings. I love poker. Can we find the double? We're doing it again tomorrow. This one was the record-breaking Poker House Dallas tournament. For only $130, come run it back at 2 p.m. Our first hand is king 10 of diamonds on the button. There are two limps. I make it 2,200 to go, a little over 3x. That first limper folds and that second limper calls. This is a fun meetup game tournament vibe. A lot of limps, a lot of calling. And we're happy to see a flop of king 3-2 all clubs. Checks to me. And given that we have a short stack player behind us, I don't have a great feeling about this exact situation. So I decided to just check it back and assess a turn card, get some more information first. The turn is a 10 of hearts, a really good turn card, and it checks again to me. So now we got to think our top two pair is good. So I bet 5,000. The big blind folds, but the limper jams for 8,500. We obviously give it a snap call, and let's go to the live audio. He's got queen nine of clubs. Outs. Oh. Yeah, you got a king nine ten. Yeah, look. Oh yeah, two pairs, yeah, look at that. <laughs> We're already a little short stack as we look down at pocket kings in the cutoff. What great timing. I make it 1600 to go over the 800 blinds, small blind calls and the big blind calls. We could have just jammed because we had such a short stack and we got a bounty on our head of a sweatshirt, so maybe they'll call light. But the flop comes ace, king, 10. So I'm happy to hopefully just get some more value versus an ace versus a flush draw. I bet one big blind, I make it 800 to go. Small blind goes into the tank and then unfortunately for us makes a big fold and the big blind folds as well. So we're not chipping up totally in this hand, but we are winning. We're looking down at ace eight and I've got 11 big blinds. The very last hand I folded a seven and we were in the hijack. So I wasn't sure if that was right or not. Now that I have one pip higher, I think the chart wants me to jam. So even though my gut is telling me to fold, I listen to the charts, which thankfully we have access to thanks to pokercoaching.com to show that this is a correct jam. However, we immediately get ISO rejammed by the big stack to our left. So sometimes maybe you should just trust your guts. Um, we're up against ace queen offsuit for over 20K in chips 
getting us back to starting stack if we win. This is me recording while I'm tilted. I show. I don't get the best angle, but the flop is Jack, King, Seven, Turns of Five, River, King, no help. We're busto, but there's still time for a re entry. Worst table draw ever. <laughs> We just got a brand new stack, and we are seeing a lot of limping going on the table. Under the gun calls 1500, under the gun one calls 1500, and the small blind calls 1500. This is not GTO poker, this is your local $130 tournament. Very high value, guys. So, I don't know what the charts are supposed to do against limps, I've got no idea, but I'm just playing around. I got a pretty good hand, and I think that they don't have a hand that can call a 20k bet. So, I play some power poker, I jam 20k in the middle, we have equity if they call, and... Thankfully, we get past that first limper. They're not trapping. The under the gun one limper folds, and the small blind, I could tell, is super curious, but he folds as well. Dang, we don't get to see his arm again. Be on the vlog. Very own next gen poker member Scott jams all in under the gun for 20k, and we look down at pocket jacks in the small blind. He made a pretty big jam, but with my newly acquired chips, we're never folding pocket jacks. I go all in against our buddy Scott, and we're up against ace king offsuit. What? You have a real hand? Oh, you got a real hand? No! Ten. I have not covered. Oh. Wow. You have me covered though. I think. Yeah, yeah. 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 We're back to a short 12k stack with pocket threes on the button. We ship it all in for a little less than 10 big blinds. The big blind now tanks to give us a pretty big sweat before he makes the fold. And I show him just to give him some A, comfort, or B, to tilt him a little bit for not calling. Both works for me. We get moved to Jello's table and look down at the Jellos under the gun. I jam my 15k stack and the blinds at this point are already at 1k, 2k, 2k. The cutoff gives us some protection and raises over the top for 20k. You'll be a little surprised to see what he has, at least I was. And then our new friend in the big blind has to call with only one big blind left in his stack. So we're three ways all in against 8-5 offsuit and king at 9 of spades. What a great spot to double. Oh, was a jack in the window. Oh no! Nine. Jack. Yes. Come on, so not only do we get out fluffed by King 9, but then 8-5 offsuit scoops us both with a flush. We are Audi, GG everyone, and good luck to Jello. We're doing it again tomorrow. This one was the record-breaking Poker House Dallas tournament. For only $130, come run it back at 2 p.m. With Rosie and Frankie both out of the tournament, I am Next Gen Poker's last hope of making a final table appearance and securing first place for $6,300 at our very first meetup game tournament. Let's run it up. We've got 20k in our stack for the very first hand, playing 100-200 blinds, and under the gun raises to 700. We're in the low jack and look down at the Jellos. I could 3-bet here, but because this raise came from early position and we're super deep, I decided just to flat play above my range, the hijack and small blind call as well, and we're four ways to a board of queen 8 2 rainbow. Under the gun takes the aggressive action yet again and bets out 1400. This is a pretty strong action, but I'm gonna peel just one card in position here. Like I said, we're still playing above our range. The hijack calls as well, and we're three ways to a turn, and it's an offsuit deuce. Pretty safe card for us, and now under the gun slows down and checks. At this point, I'm feeling pretty good about my hand, even though it's only second pair. I decided to bet out here and kind of gauge the field. I bet 3,000, and only the hijack sticks around for the call. The river is an offsuit 8. It double pairs the board. A great card again. It makes it less likely our opponent had an 8. And he might have a queen here, but for some reason, I just got the feeling that he had a lower pocket pair than us. He had something worse of value than us. And on this run out, he's going to really feel obligated to call with a lot of those hands. So I bet out here again, not too big. I make it 5,000. And after thinking for a minute or two, he decides to make the call. I flip over the jellos and he shows us he called us down with pocket fours. We squeak out max value and we're off to a great start. Trying to keep the train rolling. We're still playing 100, 200. The hijack limps and the cutoff makes it 700. We're on the button and peel yet again. The Jellos, we're definitely going to 3-bet in this configuration. We make it 2,500. The small blind now decides to call, which is pretty interesting, raising a little bit of alarm bells. He was a pretty tight player. The hijack folds, and the cutoff comes along as well, getting a pretty good price. So 
were three ways in position to a flop of queen eight five rainbow. The small blind checks, the cutoff checks, and I decided to play this one a bit passively. I check as well. The turn is a seven, not a great card. Some straights complete and a few different two pairs possibly complete as well. Not a great board for me overall. The small blind checks and I was planning to check once more once the cutoff checks, but he decides to bet out here for 5,000 chips. This was a pretty big bet. He only had about 10,000 chips behind, and so I expect if I call here, we're going to face an all-in on the river, and that's going to put us in a really, really tough spot. We still have the small blind behind us to worry about. He might be slow playing a strong hand, and so I decided just to let this one go. I fold and the small blind folds behind us unfortunately so we'll never get to know what the cutoff had but we move on to the next one. This hand we have pocket 10s you already know 99% of gamblers quit before they win big so you know we're not going home just yet we've hopped in the 2-5 with hopes to make our buy in back before we go commentate the final table. We're under the gun we're 7 handed here the button straddles on for 10 we open to 50 the big blind calls and the button calls. We're off to a flop which comes queen 6-3 with 2 hearts. The big blind checks, we see of course the lovely overcard which is super fun, but there is plenty of value and protection to still be had from worse hands. We see bet half pot, $75, and only the big blind calls. Shout out to our comment giveaway winner, throw us a comment on this video and we'll pick one of you to get $10. Thanks for the support guys, we love interacting with you and learning you know, how to provide just the best content week in and week out. The turn, with over $300 at stake, is the offsuit 8. When the big blind checks, I think we should exhibit some pot control with second pair and check back. We head to a river, which is the 9 of hearts, completes the front door flush draw. He thankfully checks, and we can take second pair to showdown fairly confidently. He shows ace 5 offsuit, and we win. Next hand for us, the blinds have gone up a bit. It's 400, 800 blinds, and we look down at the ladies under the gun. What do the ladies like to do? Be sneaky. You know what? So we're going to play him sneaky. We limp, and the middle position player falls for the bait. He makes it 3,000 chips. The cutoff calls 3,000. The small blind calls 3,000. And now the big blind calls as well. This set up a fantastic spot for us. The ladies put us in a great spot here. So I rip it all in there. 26,000 chips in the middle. Middle position ponders his options. Not sure what to do here. He looks a bit confused and thinks I might be trying to make a play at it. But ultimately decides against it and he folds and that starts a folding train from the cutoff and the small blind and now it's back onto the big blind who tanks for a while, talks some crap to me, but he wusses out too and he folds as well. We scoop in a nice little pot ski our way without even having to see a flop. Alrighty, now the blinds are 500 a thousand now and we've got king jack offsuit in the cutoff. It folds to us and we make it 2100. The small blind and the big blind call, so pretty good outcome. We're three ways in position to a board of king 10 4 with two spades. Checks over to me, and I decide to bet this one. We've got top pair, pretty strong kicker, and want to deny some equity from some draws as well as some weaker pairs. I bet 3,000 chips, and only the small blind wants to be punished this end. He makes a call. Turns an ace. Not a fantastic card for my hand. Good card for my range, though. However, when the small blind checks it over to me, I'm just going to check this one back, get one street closer to showdown, and the river is a pretty solid card, it's the queen of spades. So although the flush draw completes, we make Broadway, the small blind now leads out for $6,000. I actually contemplate raising here, but if we were to raise and get jammed on, it would just be a horrible spot. I'm not really sure how often we are supposed to go for thin value in tournaments, so I just flick in the call pretty quickly. and. I'm assuming he was bluffing because he just mucks it right away. And we scoop in this pot our way, moving in the right direction. We're at 41,500 in our stack, headed to the break. All right, we're on break. We've got like 47.5 right now. What do you have? We have a small amount, 16.5, but. What do you have, buddy? You can't complain too much. I got about 44K. Okay, so we yeah. can stack him. That's all we need to know. Damn, bro. 251 are in this 251, tournament. 251. Biggest turnout. Best value tournament in all of Texas. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Nick, what's your stack at right now? Oh, you want to come take a look, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Looking at third bullet, about 100K. Oh, my yeah. gosh. You know, Running it up. Light we'll, work. Just light work. We'll see light you on the final three. Frank, what's your stack at? Second bullet, 22K. 22K. Graham, how about you? Third bullet, 11K. 11K? Oh, we got on. this. Blinds are getting hefty now. There's 1,000, 2,000 blinds out there. 
and I'm in the cutoff and for a third time we wake up with the jellos we've got 32,500 in our stack at this point and I'm ripping that all in there it's about 16 big blinds we're all in and you guys already know the difference between jam and jelly here I can't jelly my stack into the middle I jam it all in 32,500 chips about 16 and a half big blinds and we face some interesting action right behind us the button immediately re goes all in for 50,000 chips the small blind and big blind get out of the way and we're heads up to a flop we got to show our hands I show the jellos and the button has Pocket tens, best case scenario. Let's hold one time dealer, live and die by the jellos. Flop comes ace, king, seven, pretty clean. Turns a three, and the river is a queen. We scoop a full double up our way, giving us an even better chance to make a final table run and hopefully win this thing. Wow. Oh, I, got I want that money that's double the stack. <laughs> there are only about 60 players remaining. The blinds are 2,000, 4,000. They have gone up quick. And the low jack opens it up to 8,000 chips. We've got 52,500 in our stack next to act in the hijack. And we look down at the ladies. Great spot to just rip it all in there. And that's what I do. 52,500 chips. And the cutoff immediately calls all in for less. He almost beats me into the pot with his chips. A little worrisome, but not too scared at the queens. Folds back around to the low jack player who also snap calls all in. Oh boy, did we just run into it? I don't know, but this pot is massive, well over 100,000 chips. This would put me as one of the largest chip stacks in the entire tournament and give us a great chance to make a final table appearance. And we see the low jack, he's got pocket aces. Not a good scenario, we are gonna have to run good here. Can we bink a queen? Can the ladies luck box for us one time dealer? Flop comes jack 9-6 with two spades and a heart. Not looking good, we've got some potential though. Until the turn seals the deal, it's the ace of hearts on the turn. And that is a wrap to our tourney life. We end up busting out in 60 something at place. But you know what? There's plenty of tourneys to come. Poker House Dallas has the best value tournaments in all of Dallas. Come check them out. We'll definitely be hosting more meetup game tournaments in the future. And the guarantees are only going to keep increasing. Into the game for one bullet, out for zero bullets and zero dollars. We lost a little in cash as well. Lost a little on the day, but we're good. In for one bullet, out for zero dollars, unfortunately. Two bullets for me, but we made a bag playing cash, so up 750 in the 2 5 game. Thank you guys so much for coming. Seriously, this was an awesome event. We had 25,000 in the prize pool, 257 entrants, and we're gonna do it again. So awesome. I don't know what I was gonna say. Uh, I was gonna say <laughs> something. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank comment, you. like, subscribe. Peace.